Now we're going to talk about some fundamental information regarding the tutor portal, the teaching platforms, and some company policies. This is our tutor website. After logging in, the first thing we're going to talk about is how to ask for help or support. In the bottom right corner, you will see a blue button labeled Help. Our support staff is available for chatting live when the Help button says Chat. If you encounter technical difficulties before or during a class which results in difficulty teaching, click Chat and the support staff will provide immediate assistance. So, the Chat button is useful in case of technical difficulties or any emergencies you encounter before or during the class. If you scroll down, you can also see the Contact Us button. This allows you to email us and our staff will reply during normal business hours to any problem or difficulties you have. So any matter that is not time sensitive and won't impact the future or scheduled classes can be addressed with the Contact Us button. Now let's talk about the check-in button. It appears 20 minutes before your first class. Click this button once at least 10 minutes before class begins. And we suggest you do it about 15 minutes ahead of the class. Should the check-in button fail to appear on time, refresh the page. And if it doesn't work, you guessed it. Click the chat button and ask the support team for help. If you miss check-in, the class will be removed and you will get a no-show record. Okay, so you've checked in. Now what? 15 minutes before the class, you will see the Enter Classroom button. It's okay if you need a little more time, but you should come in at least one minute before the class to look professional, that is punctual and well prepared. But even if you go to the class early, please do not finish the session early, or the system counts your class as incomplete. Please use all 25 or 50 minutes. When your classes are over, complete the class report. You don't have to complete it right away, but it's due in 24 hours. And please, please remember if there are more than two minutes late for a class, you will be replaced by a sub-tutor and get a no-show record. Next, let's talk about managing your schedule. On the left, you can see the time in your part of the country. If you click Show Beijing Time, you will switch a time slot you drag your mouse over to the time in Beijing. We show the time in military style, for example, 14 is 2 p.m. If you want to have many students, we suggest opening as many time slots as possible between 6 and 9 p.m. Beijing time and Saturday and Sunday mornings Beijing time to meet your quote. These are known as peak hours. The peak hours are such because the students are available when they are in the school. Thus, we tutor them when they are free. The minimum number of the time slots you must agree to during peak hour is 12. When selecting your availability, please note that repeat daily refers to the same time slot automatically being opened or closed the same time each day. So you can arrange to have classes at the same time every Monday, and the system will automatically schedule you for them when it matches the program. We do not recommend choosing and the repeat when opening time slot because that means you no longer want to have your yearly scheduled class after a certain date. Doing this affects your booking rate since we assign classes in units instead of individually. A unit may last 20 to 40 weeks. Plus, a partner school will see that you aren't available and give the classes to another tutor who can fully commit to the unit. However, this is not to say that you cannot take time off or that emergencies never occur. You can plan time off 15 days in advance, but closing a time slot may cause the system to alert you that you are canceling future classes. If this is so, click contact us and let us know about this change. A tutor cannot just close a time slot and cancel the booking. He or she must request the time off. A blue colored box indicates a booked class. If a class hasn't started yet, 
You may request a time off if you have a valid reason or an emergency. When there are more than one class that day, please do it for each class one at a time. Your contract and how early you request a time off determine whether the leave affects your salary, because we offer the classes as a unit. We need a reliable tutor. Students appreciate having the same tutor or teacher week after week instead of having one new teacher after another. So, if you are reliable and dependable, this is the job for you. Finally, let's talk about payment. Every month, you will be able to see your attendance record. Please be aware of no-show and notice that is a quite serious problem here. The reason is what I mentioned before. We assign classes in units, and we do need stable and reliable tutors. If you want to address a problem with any record, we recommend providing evidence so that your issue will be resolved and you will not be penalized. Take a picture or a screenshot of anything that proves you could not attend in class due to medical reason, something from the doctor, hospital, etc., or due to technical difficulties like the proof, the power went out, or the network went out. You must submit the attendance record in a timely manner, or it will expire. Please address issue with classes as soon as possible. Below, the attendance record is the invoice. If you click your profile picture, you will see your star rating. The higher your rating, the higher your booking rate, which stands for your salary. I hope you become a five-star tutor. Tutors are paid using a Veeam account. One such provider is PayPal, but they release funds at a slow pace and charge a transaction fee. We no longer wire funds into bank accounts. After watching the video, please read the PDF which explains how to register a Veeam account. This is for now. These are the basics of the tutor portal. Feel free to log in your account and test in whatever you like. If you have any question, please feel free to ask our tutor management team. Best of luck.